Hi guys, it's username K here and welcome back to my channel. Now, since the UK is in lockdown, we're all bored as hell. It's a proper sunny day out there. I've decided to do some maintenance on the Jixa uh, before it's first track day of the year. So the plans that I've got for it is an oil change. So I've got my oil um, order my filter as well. That's all ready. Uh, I will be fitting some rear sets, second hand ones, because uh, I can't afford full price RNG rear sets right now. And um, so hopefully they'll do the job. And then just putting some little tank grips on just to help me hang off the bike a little bit more. But they did come from China, so they're probably going to need a bit of. I'm also going to be fitting its Power Commander and Quick Shifter. Uh, whether I do that or not, I might get Mike to do it because it's kind of like the nervous system of the bike, and I wouldn't want to do that and risk messing it all up. So, probably going to enlist some help to do that. But I did have a quick shifter and power commander on the bike when I bought it. But the map was way out. It was mapped for a 600. The graph was just absolutely bonkers, just where it shouldn't be. Um, and the quick shifter was really notchy. And it just was not pleasant. So I sent it off to my mate, Reader, who said it was in pretty bad condition. He's tried to sort of recondition it the best he can. So fingers crossed, it's gotta be better than what it was like. So without further ado, let's get stuck in, crack on and get the Jigsaw track ready. After putting the bike on the paddock stand, we fired up the bike. You should never do an oil change on a cold engine. It's part of the editing process so I don't bore you all to death. The bike had been idling for quite a while, uh, so don't worry with the aggressive revving, it's not gone from 0 to 100 straight away. It had been warmed up. I've sped this part up so I don't bore the life out of you. Admittedly, as much as I love riding my bikes, it is the riding part that I love and I've never been much of a tinkerer. So I thought I'd start here with a simple oil change under the guidance of my better half, Mike. So what I did was I undid the sump bolt and let the oil drain. As it was draining, I took off the filter using a chain oil filter wrench. First time I'd ever seen one of those contraptions. Uh, but be careful taking off the filter because it gets flipping hot down there. As I was a bit clumsy taking off the oil filter, I got a fair bit of oil on the exhaust. When this happens, you can either brake cleaner it off, or a tip that's floating around the internet is to wrap the exhaust in tin foil or aluminum foil for any Yanks watching. So, like the absolute noob I am, when I was undoing the sump ball, I let it fire into the oil catch tray. After fishing it out and looking at it, there wasn't any metal fragments attached to the magnet on there, which is a healthy sign. So at this point, you just let it drain and do its thing. When it looks like the oil is almost out, we took it off the paddock stand and put it on the side stand so gravity could finish the job off and get out the last dregs of the old oil. Now it was time for the oil filter. I went for a K&N. Why? Because it was the best bundle offer available on eBay. Plus, I figured that K&N and, and Motor combined is a pretty good team, so I was happy enough to part with my money. So this is the part where you see a lot of folk dipping their fingers in the old oil and lubing the bottom of the filter. This filter is pre-lubed. Ooh, a matron. So I skipped that bit.
A bit of general housekeeping never hurts to keep your workspace clean as you go along. After the old oil has sufficiently drained out the engine, this is where you put the sump bolt back in along with a fresh crush washer for optimum seal. Okay guys, frustratingly, it didn't fill me putting the oil in the bike, which is a bit irritating, but we've put in about 2.8 just because we haven't pre-oiled the filter. So I guess I don't have any footage to show you of that, but rest assured there is oil in the bike. So here I fire up the bike for a couple of seconds to let the oil travel around the engine. <laughs> After this I held the bike upright and Mike checked the oil window just to make sure that it was filled correctly and that it wasn't over or underfilled. Now I know there's going to be someone sounding off in the comments kicking off about me not pre-filling the oil filter. I didn't do it because as someone as inexperienced as me I wanted to make my life easy and it can get quite messy when you don't really know what you're doing. Uh, if you do go down the pre-fill route with the oil filter, be mindful about how much oil you do end up putting in the engine so that you don't overfill it, as obviously there's going to be oil already in the oil filter. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, take care.